Hey everybody, this is John Kassir, the voice of the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> and you're watching Joe Biganero's House of Horrors. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Joe. I hope everyone's doing great out there. Coming at you tonight with an unboxing video. And tonight we have BAM Horror Box. Uh, now, I've been getting BAM Horror Box for a while now, as you guys know, since the beginning. What are we on? Box number five or six now? Something like that. And um, overall, I've been pretty disappointed with BAM Horror. I think they do things right sometimes, but then they just take so many steps back that... I will say the only reason I even re-upped this month was because of the autograph, which they spoiled, um, which I was kind of okay with um, this month. I usually don't like the spoilers, but them spoiling the autograph this month was the only reason I re-upped. Um, we shall see where the future holds with me getting Bam Horror. Um, I'm just, they really need to do better with their prop replicas. Uh, I still think their best month was the 1408 Christine. I... Those are like the prop replica stuff you want in a horror box. All the, you know, of course, the rock and button box. And then last month you got that million dollar bill, which was really disappointing. Um, but the Krampus Bell was really awesome. So, I mean, I think they're doing some things right. They just need to put it all together. Um, you know, month, like, you know, every subscription box is going to have bad months. But so far, Bam Horror has had maybe like one good month and the rest of all one good month a couple of really bad months and then the rest of the months were just kind of so 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 uh you know i i am hoping they do better obviously because there's not a ton of horror subscription boxes out there um you know there are people who keep you know there are subscription boxes that always pop up and then kind of go away um but right now the only two that seem to be really holding steady are bam horror and Fright Crate, um, and I guess a Fright Crate is doing a better job than Bam Horror overall, um, but, you know, the autographs are obviously a big plus with Bam Horror, because you're guaranteed an autograph every month, which, um, you know, I, I, I definitely enjoy, it's not the main reason I get it, but, alright, let's not waste any more time, I'm rambling here, and let's see what is in this month's Bam Horror, um, what are we, what are we in? This is January's box? Yes. Alright, so let's see. I don't even remember the themes, honestly. Just the autograph, but, um, I won't say what it is, obviously. But let's open this box, a blind style, as always, here. And let's pull out the first item here. Okay. And this is the stuff I'm talking about. Um, we have a... We have a prescription bottle for Hypnosil. It says Nancy Thompson on it of course from nightmare on elm street um this is the stuff i'm talking about of them not doing the right thing uh it's a cool idea but not at the same time you know it's a cool idea but you know who wants a cheap ass prescription bottle with a really really cheap looking uh cover you know, on it. I mean, that is like the weakness of the creature million dollar bill. It's cooler than the button, but not by much. Um, yikes. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is the reason people are gonna unsubscribe, um, from Bam Horror right here. Um, you know, I, it's just so weak. I mean, this couldn't have cost them more than pennies, you know? I mean, buying bulk of these little cheap you know, prescription pill bottles and then just throwing a sticker on it. I mean, you could make this at home for a nickel, you know, just get one of your grandparents' old prescription bottles, print out um, this label, which you can definitely find online. And there you go, folks. Um, don't need to get and pay for a subscription box for that one. Really, really weak here. I mean, like I said, it's a cool idea. It's just, you know, just not execute you know it's not something it's a cool idea but it's not something executed well i guess you could say or something that should have just been passed up like you know in your head you think it's cool but me eh, yeah i mean whatever on that all right let's hope it gets better folks all righty let's get the pin out here i'm feeling the pin here and 
All righty. Um, all right. Um, okay. This is a limited edition of 250. We got, it looks like, um, so, is it, it's a ham. It looks like it's like a, definitely a vampire. Okay. It's Salem's Lot. I knew it was definitely like some sort of vampire thing here. Unfortunately, it's not Barlow. Would have preferred, you know, a cool Barlow, but there you go there. Um, I always have trouble with these pins because, like, once again, their pins are very small. Once again, this month, it's a little bigger than the last couple months we've gotten, but um, you see the hammer and the nail there from Salem's Lot. Right there. Yeah, I mean, it's an okay pin. Um, doesn't really blow me away. Um, but, yeah, one of their weak, in my opinion, one of their weaker pins. And this is one of the limited edition ones. But nothing that really blows my socks off right there. Alrighty, let's get into the next item here. And, alright, this is our other prop replica. I mean, you know what you're going to get every month. You get two prop replicas um a pin and then an autograph and a print so i mean you know you're getting the same thing every month and ooh, is this is this the exorcist i think this is i want to say this is the exorcist right here and if i think it is and that is actually really cool um i believe this is um from the exorcist like the statue they found in the desert in the exorcist there um, that is really cool if that's what it is, which I think it is. Um, I could be wrong. I could be looking like a fool, but I'm pretty sure that is from the exorcist and that is a really, really cool item. It's like the relic, um, that, um, he finds in the desert, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that is really cool. That I dig. This is the stuff we want to see. Bam horror right here. Not a cheap ass pill bottle that costs you pennies to make and is just so weak stuff like this i mean this is cool this is a really really cool item right here um this is something i will definitely display with my exorcist stuff badass right there so kudos i mean this is the stuff that gets me excited that's the stuff i think is really really cool um so you know if you did something better than this i would not be complaining but this is just so weak you got to do better than that all right so let's get into um the autograph and the print this month all right we got the print first here and okay that's actually a pretty cool print i do remember now um it uh insidious the last key was one of the features and we have an insidious the last key print right there with elise and you have some of the demons from the further there um you know it's it's an okay print it's not the best one they've done i'm not huge on the artwork on it but it's it's pretty cool it's definitely better than um a couple of the other ones they did there that one's not too bad at all though um i dig that and i actually enjoyed insidious the last key um so that not bad not bad right there all right so let's get into it the autograph this month and yes we have the soska twins right there i'm um, new this like i said this is the main reason i picked it up um i don't know if this is from i don't know if it's from elevator or if it's from uh something um it's an okay print to have signed um at least you got the both of them in there um you know and it's better than um the babysitter twins one where they had like the two dudes in there i wasn't a big fan of that one this is much better but super pumped this is the main reason i got the autograph soska sisters uh just awesome awesome directors um american mary um hooker and dead hooker in a trunk um great great stuff excited to see what they do next elevator as well um really really dig this i've met the soska twins before but i only got a picture with them i didn't get the autograph and for what is bam 35 a month shipped um their autograph definitely pays for it because i think at cons there go for 50 60 bucks so definitely definitely an awesome awesome autograph there of the soska twins right love it love this this is this is the stuff too like autograph wise you know that horror fans want to see because um these girls are they're uh up and coming you know i mean they've been around for a while but you know what i mean they're just um, re two really talented women directors in horror. Want to see more of that, obviously. And um, a really cool autograph of the Sosa Twins. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. It looks like they included the spoiler sheet again, um, which I'm very happy about. Last month, 
Um, I thought it was a mistake that they didn't include it. So let's read here. We got a little thing here. Bam Hara for January. Thank you for ordering the Bam Hara box. Uh, this month we have a dual autograph photo um, with some boxes getting a dual autographed item. So I'm interested to see what the item is. Um, I'll also be on the lookout for a one-up card to see if you got an item with a more limited release. I didn't get a one-up card, but this one said it's limited to 250 so I'm assuming that's a limited pin. Um, if you aren't part of the BAM community, we want you there. Uh, trade items, enter contest, stay up to date, blah, blah, blah. Alrighty, so let's see what we got here, folks. Alright, we have, yes, alright, so BAM, BAM box signing with the Solstices. Most will get one of two signed photos, but look out for a signed director's clipboard. That would have been really cool. Um, I will say I'm disappointed I didn't get this autograph picture with them all bloodied up than this one. This one's a little more boring. Um, much would have rather that one, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. All right, you have the Insidious fan art, um, Nancy's Hypnosil bottle prop replica, uh, from Dream Warriors, like I said, the weakest item in the box, no doubt about it. And I was right, this is from The Exorcist. This is the Amulet of Pazuzu, head replica by Dark Matter Props. Um, uh, Pazuzu is the main antagonist of the demon from The Exorcist. Uh, in, in Assyrian and Babylonian mythology, Pazuzu was the king of the demons of the wind and son of the god Hanby. Um, this is awesome. I love this item. Um, I'm a huge Exorcist fan. And um, I knew right when I saw it that it, it was. I just, you know, wasn't 100%. But, um, uh, yeah, this is a really, really awesome item. And, uh, yeah, dig this. This is uh, the stuff you want to see from them. I will say I don't know how well this will display. Um, might need to find something a little better. But I will definitely put it with my Exorcist stuff. That is really cool. All right, and then uh, the Bambox ex exclusive Salem's Lot fan art pins. As always, a couple variants. I will say I think I got the weakest um, pin out of the three right there. The Barlow one is obviously awesome. Um, and even that one's really cool. This one, meh, not so much. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I gotta say this month was definitely an improvement over last month's. Um, I will say this is right on par to me with the uh Krampus Bell that came last month. This is the stuff and the 1408 key. This is the stuff I want to see them doing. Um good quality replica stuff you see in the movies. Um sure we saw this in the movie, uh Nancy's Hypnosil bottle, but ah, just weak and just really cheap. Like even if this only cost them a few bucks to make, it looks like it at least costs more than that to make, you know what I mean? Rather than this, where you just know it's just so cheap, so weak. Do like two of th these, you know? Even the Christine license plate with the 1408 key, I always go back to that box because I think I still think it was their best box. Um, but this is um, not a bad box at all. The Soska Sisters autograph obviously is is awesome. I mean, the dual autograph from them, way better than the dual autograph from the Babysitter Twins. Um, you know, most horror fans, I would say, not, I would say not your, uh, how should I phrase this? Um, your casual horror fan are going to know these people, but the people who do get this box are going to know these girls. Cause most people that get these boxes are pretty, you know, obviously, um, educated with horror. So this is a definite, definite great choice. Excited to see, um, where they go from there. Um, this is their second best autograph they've done, no doubt about it. This is probably, yeah, I might like this better than the Krampus Bell, honestly. So I think this is the second best prop replica they've done. However, this is up there with the button. Probably after the button, I would probably take the rock over this, no lie. Um, maybe not just because I like the franchise better, obviously, Nightmare on Elm Street. But at least the rock um, costs a little bit more money to make, probably. Um... It, like I said, it's a cool idea. It's just not something you should be putting in, in a subscription box. Um, the pin is whatever. I'm not huge on it. And the art print is, is, is okay. Um, so overall, I'd say this was a... What, something just fell. Patrick Bateman just fell in the background there, folks. Um, overall, though, I would say this is definitely a pretty good box. Definitely not there yet. Um, the... I think if they put something in better than this, I would have been really happy with this box. But this just kind of pees me off a little bit. They need to do better. They need to do better. Um, 
you know, sending one really weak replica and then one really good one just isn't going to cut it. We want two good ones. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought of Bam Har this month. I will give it a pass this month because of the Pazuzu head and the Soska Twins autograph. Um, that is, is the reason I will pass it this month. Um, is it enough to keep me going to for next month? Honestly, yes, it is because um, I really do love the autograph and I'm excited to see where they go from here because I think I'm starting to see that they are trying to improve. They just, I think, two good prop replicas and I'll be very happy with the box. Um, but yeah, that is it, guys. Once again, let me know what you thought. Um, don't forget to follow me on all my other forms of social media. I got my Facebook group, Joe's House of Horror. My podcast, Three Guys at Horror. I'm on Instagram. It's all linked down below, guys. And that is it. So I hope everyone has a great night. And we'll see you all real soon.